temporale attesa pioggia breaking a catastrophic summer storm has struck milan violent winds flash flooding hail and a confirmed fatality over 50 emergency interventions are underway and major transportation routes are paralyzed what caused this atmospheric explosion and could it happen again let's break it down on the afternoon of july 6 2025 around 5 p.m the city of Milan was hit by a sudden and extremely powerful storm system. What began as a warm summer day rapidly turned into a meteorological nightmare. The sky darkened dramatically, turning a ghostly gray, and within minutes the city was swallowed by torrential rain, intense winds, and isolated hailstorms. Tourists and locals fled to nearby shelters as visibility dropped to nearly zero. The atmosphere felt otherworldly, like a blackout in broad daylight. Residents described the experience as a water bomb falling from the sky. Days before the storm, Milan's Civil Protection Department had issued an orange-level alert signaling a high risk for severe weather events. Anticipating heavy rainfall, officials preemptively activated flood control basins along the Seviso River and installed mobile flood barriers in Via Vini near the Bontelro district to contain potential surges from the Lambro River. Despite these preparations, the sheer force of the storm overwhelmed many defense systems. The scale and suddenness of the downpour exceeded even the most cautious forecasts. In less than an hour, 35 to 50 millimeters of rain fell in the Milan metro area, with Piazza Duomo and the western districts hit hardest streets became rivers. The sewer systems backed up. In some areas, rainfall rates topped 60 millimeters per hour, a threshold associated with extreme flood risk. In the Robacchetto Coninduno district, tragedy struck. A 63-year-old woman lost her life when a tree, weakened by saturated soil and wind, collapsed onto her. She had been walking with two companions, both of whom were injured and hospitalized. In total, Milan's emergency services carried out over 50 critical interventions, with many more requests queued. Crews responded to toppled trees, unstable scaffolding, downed power lines, and billboards ripped from their posts. Meteorologist and civil protection official Marco Granolin monitored storm cell trajectories in real time. The most intense convective cells formed between Abiat Grasso and Cisano Bergamasco, then surged eastward toward Lecco and Cucuba, delivering rain rates up to 30 millimeters and frequent lightning strikes. These supercells developed rapidly due to severe thermal contrast between the hot, stagnant air mass over Lombardy and a cold front moving in from the northwest. In Cascina Induno, a forested region, emergency teams were delayed by terrain while responding to fallen trees and downed communication lines. It was one of the hardest hit rural zones. Flood prevention infrastructure was pushed to its The Safo flood facility was activated for the seventh time since its construction. Requests were also made to prepare Sinago and Len City reservoirs to absorb excess runoff.
Il cielo di Milano non promette nulla di buono, siamo in attesa di un nubifragio, osservate proprio la Chef Cloud, ovvero la linea di demarcazione. Despite these efforts, several neighborhoods in western Milan experienced standing water up to half a meter deep. In Como, the lakeside once again overflowed, spilling through storm drains onto Piazza Cavour. Landslides in Brianza, particularly near Sereno Mislano, forced road closures, while floods in Leza Peso led to the evacuation of 15 residents. 13 flights into Bergamo and Linate were diverted. Nine rerouted to Bologna, three to Malpensa, and one to Verona. Rail traffic was also paralyzed. A regional Italo train halted near Melignano, possibly after a lightning strike. High-speed lines between Milan and Piacenza were redirected onto slower tracks, causing delays of up to 60 minutes. Technicians from RFI rushed to restore service, while stranded passengers were transferred to backup trains heading north. The storm was the product of a high-energy atmospheric collision. A dome of hot, humid air trapped over northern Italy for days collided with a cold Atlantic front. The result? Explosive atmospheric instability, creating towering cumulonimbus clouds that dumped rain, generated high winds, and unleashed hail within minutes. These patterns, heat followed by violent convection, are textbook signs of a climate-driven shift. Meteorologists warn that such flash systems will increase in frequency and intensity as global temperatures rise. The storm of July 6, 2025, was not just another summer squall. It was a warning, a showcase of just how quickly our cities can go from calm to crisis under extreme weather. Milan's storm may have passed, but the lessons it taught us should not be forgotten. If you found this breakdown helpful, Subscribe for more weather intelligence and disaster reports. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe, and stay prepared.